Hi guys, we're going to learn today. Beautiful day uh, for the range, but let's address some topic first. Tons of questions still regarding recall management on the AK. So, class in session, let's go. We're going to make it smooth and easy. As you may remember from your physics, uh, from the elementary school, and uh, if that teacher did her job or, or his job, then you know when you pull the trigger firing pin energize and hits the primer, bullet flies out, right? So the bullet leaves the barrel for every action, there is a reaction, right? So that force moving forward pushes pushes the bullet forward, but then you got that energy wave coming back. And I want to show it this, like literally, it all goes back towards you. That's the first shock. We'll talk about the second shock in a second. Now, your position behind the AK buttstock will dictate a lot what's going to happen next. So, unfortunately, as you can see, that bot stock is on, if you have regular stock, right? The original AK regular stock, not that very, uh, I would say, tall. <laughs> so, you don't have a lot of surface area contacting uh, your, hopefully, a shoulder pocket. But that placement of the bot stock will vary by the people because we are all built differently. Thank you, God. Uh, so, uh, none of you can look as sexy as I am. So, going back to that butt suck and what's happening. You got that energy wave coming backwards to you and then depends on the contact with your uh, body parts, whatever you're putting against and whatever how you're putting uh, against that butt suck, what's going to happen. You're creating like a pivot point if you don't have a good contact right here. If you have just like a single um, single placement or, or something is sticking out that's easier for the rifle you got to see see what's happening is just that pivot point and it's going to pivot up just from that so that meat placement behind the butt stock is extremely important more surface you cover more pressure you put on it and you will secure it and it sits nicely in your pocket the rest or less of that muzzle rise will be right there and this is very often mitigated uh, you can see uh, some people are leaning leaning really forward you gotta be careful and find that sweet spot too because if you're leaning too much forward when when, when you're done and you will overcome this you will go down you will sink down on the AK so that's something to remember also, this is one of the reasons uh, why I like to also use uh, those uh, El Cheapo pads. Uh, and especially when you're shooting in uh, like T-shirt, you, you basically, that butt stuck with the bare metal will just slide all, all over that T-shirt and it does not provide the good support. This is uh, basically just slip on thing, you add this on and you're increasing that surface too. So it helps to control the rifle even better. Uh, this is, uh, you don't need that to absorb the recoil. The recoil on the AK is not that bad, but it helps with controlling uh, that uh, impulse and preventing, you got the better surface contact to prevent the muzzle rise, right? So that's one of the tricks uh, if you want to keep the original stock. And uh, then of course, uh, you know, I got some AKs which are completely pimp out and I have basically at different types of the stock uh, at the uh, rear end. But you don't have to do that, it's just this will work. That's like 10, 11 bucks, UTG. I don't sell them, okay? Just telling you guys. Uh, I got few and I keep cycling them uh, through the rifles. Now going back to that uh, shot. So we have, we have addressed the first uh, force wave coming your way and then of course what is going to happen you have a bolt carrier because finally you know those gases are catching up and this is what's happening the second wave from it's delayed because this is not going as fast as that first shock wave uh, and then you got the bolt carrier coming in at you and you got you're getting in this position you're getting a lot of help from the recoil spring so recoil spring is absorbing some of that energy capturing but it is it is rather violent motion and because of the uh, how the the rails are 
placed and cut out on the receiver. This is not really like a beautiful uh, flat surface motion with the ball bearings and everything, right? Because you want to have that clearance to uh, improve the reliability of the rifle. So the tolerances are ra rather open uh, on those slots and on those rails, right? So everything kind of shakes, moves, but there is that second push uh, and that, that sometimes uh, people are getting caught by the surprise too. Uh, it's, it all happens in a split of the second, so you don't even know. But like if you're watching slow motion and study how the AK reacts and works, so that's kind of how it is looking like. It's very cool. Uh, anyhow, so you got like those two major impulses which were uh, affect how the rifle will react after that shot. So to manage better, we talk about the uh, body position behind the stock and what you can do. And as I said, I see some people, uh, you can lean forward and push, push more meat behind that rifle, be squared away, of course, be squared away, don't worry, the rifle is unloaded, okay, don't freak out. So be squared away behind it and lean forward and you will absorb that rico uh, really good. Now do not uh, over overdo it because then you will be falling down. Uh, and another uh, thing which some people and even on the AR, right, you see a lot of guys running the rails, full size front rails. So they place that hand farther and farther away to try to, to compensate and capture and, you know, put that, that scorpion grip, C climb grip, whatever they call that shit. And try to mitigate that movement but that all goes back to the position of the body stock in your shoulder pocket and you know sometimes they're just overcompensating because their position of the butt sack is not really good and this is ex um, this basically amplifies that movement that jump which is happening on the front end so there's nothing wrong with that i mean i don't like those grips because farther you go like uh, people are saying well this is awesome this is really this is really good grip right it, it helps to control everything but um if you're talking about uh the cqb and everything if you will start clearing the home and even you know like if, if you got multiple uh, bedrooms and everything and you watch the dudes uh, running that grip at the beginning and then with, with each bedroom that grip shrinks you know uh, goes more towards the body more towards the body and then finally ending up with the, with the grip on the magazine well uh, because it's hard it's hard to keep that extended grip all the time and keep running like crazy uh, with that hand but whatever suits you guys I'm not going to argue about this uh, right now but the grip placement the forward hand you can hold it and support the rifle absolutely uh, I don't have objections on it now if you will put on the magazine uh, remember to push the rifle push the rifle back towards your body so you got that another you know force uh, going back towards your body and helping you control that rifle better but then expect that if this is not really um, welding good on the back and you have that pivot point you know that will be you will see that force more than if you will have a hand here up front trying to uh, basically the rifle will jump out so something to remember and this is basically experiment because as i said we are all built differently so you have to go with your life when actually shoot it and experiment it uh, and see how it is holding and uh, this will help you out if i will see one of uh, you know each one of each one of you then i can examine this and uh, help you out but of course that's not going to happen right it's it's hard so you have to do some uh, homework but these are like the basics the absolutely basics without going into the any fancy hardware and things like this on how the recoil management uh, could be improved and how this could be uh how it will make you a better shooter uh, especially even in a prone position because in the prone position your body because of the position behind the rifle you don't have even that much of that meat on the bag uh, with the regular stock so you have to be extremely careful what's happening when you're shooting her from prone uh, as well now i hope that that clarifies and helps you a little bit uh, with uh, the recoil management 
on the AK and this is mainly for the 7.62 by 39 the 545 by 39 is like shooting 22 LR so uh, I, I don't think you will have any problems with uh, those rifles but with uh, 7.62 by 39 this always seems to be an issue especially because a lot of manufacturers they do over gas on purpose uh, and it was done even with uh, the Russians or Soviets or uh, AKs uh, to, to even introduce more gas into the system so that cycling will be more violent but then of course it plows through all the dirt garbage and things like this but as a side effect uh, there is more recall to worry about and uh, you have to you know you have to watch out for that follow-up shots and uh, everything all right guys this is it for now for now if you have any questions please let me know and i'll be more than happy to help you out uh, i'll be watching the comments underneath of the video for the next uh, 24 hours so we can have a nice conversation later on it's impossible to catch up because of all the comments and everything but i'll try i'll try okay as much as i can as always it was a pleasure to be in your house thank you guys and see you in the next video bye